Hey guys, today we are on the road. We are thrifting. Pack a lunch, come along. We're gonna just go all around the area and see what's out there, see what we can find. So grab yourself something to drink and be sure to comment down below what your favorite item was that you saw through the camera or that I picked up. So hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So we are back at Goodwill today. This is my main Goodwill. And here I'm looking at a little wood chest put out by the Lane Company. Lane makes hope chests. And I believe these little chests were sample sizes. I always pick them up. They seem to do quite well. They don't really bring a high dollar, but I like finding them. Here's a shot of my cart. I started without you guys, sorry. <laughs> I will show more in detail uh, in the next whole video what I wound up keeping. That little chick caught my attention, but not something I would pick up. That's an Avon uh, decanter. I thought this magazine rack was really good. Now this isn't my style, but I do quite well with items that are country style. But I decided right now I have a lot going on, so I would leave that behind. Anytime I find multiples of things like these wine labels, I do take a look at them. But here they're priced $3 each. I'm not quite sure what Goodwill is thinking. Sometimes if I'm in a thrift store and there's a lot of one type of item, I ask if they can bundle them. Again, another country item, but we still have a lot of people that like country things or, you know, certain items have a sentimental connection. I did put that in my cart to give that more thought, but I wound up putting that back. I think the shelves were a little bit more empty than usual. When Goodwill does a clear out, they come up and down the aisles and take everything that's been out for a while. And I believe they either put it next door in the outlet or they destroy it actually, which is a shame. Now here I find a little lint brush. I'm all about these brushes since I process so much cloth. And if it's reasonable, I always take extra lint brushes. I don't really enjoy the white aisle, I have to say. I don't, I don't know. A lot of things are glass or ceramic, and um, I do check everything, but it's not too often that I purchase from the white aisle. Here's a bag of little shot glasses. Once in a while, I will go ahead and pick these up, but for $4, I felt that was too high. I would have been willing to pay probably $2 for those. I have a tendency to not pick up a lot of clear glass, um, plain white ceramic I don't pick up a lot of. Here these were men's sports socks, but I didn't think that the profit would, you know, capability would be good enough. And we are on to the electronics aisle. Lots of lamps. I did think this desk lamp was pretty good. And I'm not quite sure what year this would have been from and if it's a home office light or if this was, you know, more industrial or more of a, a regular office. But I did go ahead and put this in my cart because doesn't everybody want to ship big, heavy <laughs> vintage lighting? And I thought the price was good. I believe that said $6.99. You can tell I'm getting older in life. All these cute little figurines are catching my attention and 20 years ago I never would have given that a second a second look. I think we all grow sentimental as we grow older maybe. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I do look for vintage um, electronics probably more so than any other category. And 
not even quite sure what's catching my attention here. These were playing cards. I didn't feel like counting 52 cards, but I do quite well with vintage playing cards. I've gotten as much as $40 for a deck of cards, so always good to look at playing cards. And they're really not as hard to count as like game pieces or, you know, God forbid, puzzle pieces. Ugh. <laughs> I have to say I have never counted puzzle pieces. I won't sell puzzles unless it's new and sealed. This Wade Stein is just, it's been here for weeks. Nobody wants the Wade Stein. Here I found something I was very excited about. This was a whole basket of really nice higher end pantyhose and thigh high stockings. So spoiler alert, I did wind up picking those up and I will be sharing those in the next haul. The next two still shots or screenshots are going to be that brand of stockings and why I picked those up. So those stockings do quite well and I was thrilled to find a basket of them. This next shot is this blue heron sign. This has been here for months and the heron is missing his legs. So I'm sorry I didn't pick up those corbels, I think they're called. Um, the items, the brackets that hold the curtain rod. I think I might have missed out on those. Here I found little plastic. This is probably Home Co. or one of those companies. Plastic vegetables, which I did put in my cart, but I wound up putting those back. I didn't think I was going to become a millionaire by selling those. I also found this halogen spotlight but I failed to notice how much they wanted for it. So I did actually get up to the register with this, and I think the price was either $10 or $15. Let's see if it, I show it. I'm not seeing the price, so I wound up putting that back. But if that would have been around the $5 mark, I would have kept that. I am trying to stay away from artwork. I think it's a little bit of an addiction. I've always loved the walls in the New York apartments where people fill every space with, with pictures and photos. I don't have that in my house, but I love that idea. There I was considering some gold chargers, but again, not enough profit capability. Now this little vanity mirror, I really liked this but it was not well made enough. I looked at the quality of the mirror and the mirror glass itself was very light and it felt cheap, so I left that behind. When I find mirrors, I want the glass to be very thick and heavy. This little puppy figurine was adorable and it was marked 1986. So I had to set him up with his friend, the, the horse, <laughs> but I did not pick him up. I have to say some items just astound me of how unattractive they are. I'm not quite sure who would want this jar. It was not very well done, but I guess some manufacturer liked it. Again, looking at socks. I know a lot of times it might seem like I'm going very quickly and I apologize for that. I am not a slow shopper, guys. I am up and down these aisles very quickly. So here I'm even slowing myself down to show you footage of what type of items are in this Goodwill, you know, what I find, what I like to look at. But just know that normally I'm going probably two or three times faster than what I'm showing you. Here I'm just looking at the shoes. I do buy a lot of footwear, a lot of shoes. One day I will do a video just on footwear, shoes, um, things like that, boots, and things that I look for. I don't think I've done that yet. And if you've seen my basement warehouse situation, I have a lot of shoes. At any one time, 
at least several hundred pairs. I do very well with shoes. This trip, I picked up a pair of Fly Londons. I don't think I caught that on this video, but I will definitely be showing those on the next haul video. A pair of shoes that I was thrilled to find is a brand called Fly London. I absolutely love this brand, and most times I can spot this brand from like a mile away. So here I'm gonna insert two screenshots of these gorgeous shoes absolutely thrilled to find them. If you don't know Fly London, I will also try to insert a screenshot of the label. You want to learn this brand. This brand brings very good money. I'm not sure what I'm going to charge for these wedge shoes, but I'm going to guess over $60. So at a $747 buy-in price, absolutely yes. Here I'm going down the green aisle. I want there to be profit in these type of plates. This is Holly Hobby. And some of the Holly Hobby dolls bring very good money, but the plates do not, in my opinion. So I did consider these for a quick second, put them in my cart, but they went right back. And if you can see my cart, I have picked up quite a bit. I only film when other customers are not in the area, out of respect to them. So I will be showing a few other things that I picked up in the next haul video once again. I got some handbags, uh, clothing, just a big mishmash of everything. As you guys know, I'm all about looking in boxes. This was an end table. Passport furniture from Roanoke, Virginia. And the reason I did not pick this up was number one, the size of the box. And number two, I didn't want to see if all the hardware was there. You really have to take time to make sure you have all the pieces. So I wound up leaving that one behind. So here's a little shot of the cart, found a platter, you can see the corner of the lamp. I'm just throwing things in at this point. And this is Mason's Vista, England. There's the flashlight, like I said, I put back. Like I said, the shelves were really not great this time. Now, don't get me wrong, I still came out with two full carts. <laughs> I liked that Japanese print. I thought that was very pretty. But at this point, most artwork I'm taking out of the frames and just selling the print. I used to sell a lot more artwork, but with the rise in cost of shipping, I am now just about to deframe most artwork and sell it that way. This mailbox, if that was metal, I probably would have picked that up. Mailboxes are expensive, and I would have um, flipped that locally. I think that would have done well, but I didn't feel the plastic one was worth my time. This next screenshot is a few prints that I almost picked up, and that might have been a mistake. Now, I did run comps, and the comps were not great, but I thought somebody might want these military prints, but I wound up leaving them behind because at this point in the game, time is my biggest challenge, and to deframe something only takes a few minutes, but I didn't feel like there was enough profit capability in the prints themselves. Could have been a mistake. If I had more time on my hands, I definitely would have done that. And we are on to the black aisle. This was a garment bag. I don't know that name, but I didn't think the quality was there.
I think the black aisle is almost as boring as the white aisle. And there I was looking at a tripod in a box. Again, tripods are fairly reasonably priced nowadays, so unless it's a really high-end tripod, not that I really know camera tripods, I don't go for it. You might have noticed quick if you caught a shot of my cart that my cart has depleted. That's because I'm on cart number two. So I have, or this might even be number three. I think this is cart number three I am filling. I filled two carts, paid for everything, and brought it out to the car and started cart three. Here I'm finding a Philadelphia Marathon mug. I imagine this was given to the runners and items like this I always take. So as many of you know, I'm not picking up single mugs and there I'm breaking my own rule. And as you can see, I only have a few pieces of clothing in the cart. And now it looks like we're on the blue aisle. Now this is a photo album. I don't pick up a lot of photo albums, but I liked this one because it's the United States Navy. This is vintage, I believe. It was almost like a needlepoint, you know, not hand done, but those things collectively I said yes. Here I found some angel drapery brackets and it was for the set of two. This I was thrilled to find a Yeti hat but I wound up putting that back because they wanted too much money for it. Always say yes to knobs or draw pulls. Here, $2.99, and there had to have been, I'm going to guess, 25 draw pulls new in package. Thrilled to find that. These glass balls caught my attention. No, I'm thinking it's probably like Pier 1. I don't know that they were marked but I thought they were very beautiful, but not, again, not worth trying to run a comp on. I felt like they were, you know, they're modern, they're contemporary. Does everybody remember this pattern, this duck pattern? What was that, the 80s? I'm wondering if those will come back into Back into uh, Vogue, <laughs> everybody having duck wallpaper and duck canisters. I'm not voting yes for that, by the way. Not that I don't like ducks. I do, but I don't think that was the most beautiful way to decorate. This little TV, I forgot to run a comp for. I did look at that, and it seemed like this might have been a good pickup. I forgot to run a comp, truthfully. That might have been a good find, but uh, again, I don't like testing electronics. That didn't appear to be great quality, but I thought I'd give it a check anyway. I wanted to take note of this, that the Franklin Mint is something that I almost 100% of the time do not pick up. Anything that is really produced in great quantity like that, I almost always say no to. Here I'm finding a print. This is Roman Pulaski, I think, and I had no idea who this was. So I put it in my cart thinking, wow, that's a really good print. That's a good graphic in my opinion. But again, I didn't know who Roman Pulaski was. I didn't know if he was a director, I was assuming, I don't know, a playwright. And another shopper saw it in my cart and said, 
oh, are you picking that up? And just from her tone and her facial expression, I thought I might want to take a look at that. Um, the comps were not there, but I don't know that I would have picked that up. Probably not. I have kind of conservative taste. This candle I thought was wax through and through until I saw the top of it. So I believe the outside of it was like a plastic and it was just a candle through the middle. So I said no to that. If that would have been a candle, I would have taken that. And here's just a quick shot because I want to prove to you guys I do pick up a lot of clothing. I find it kind of boring to video clothing because most times I'm just feeling clothing at this point. I do check some labels, but here I was looking through the skirts. I was kind of wasting time until more hard goods came out because I had seen everything quite a few times over. But I went down the skirt aisle. And again, this was the only piece I picked up. Beautiful color. This was a wool skirt, Banana Republic, exposed zipper in the back. And I'm putting it over a blow up pool, which I picked up for my daughter's dogs to be able to swim in the summertime. So I believe that ends our video for today. Thanks so much for watching. My next video hopefully will be a really good haul of what I did buy. I wound up with two and a half cartloads, a little over $200 if I remember my receipt. And yeah, that'll be crazy good fun. So as always, go out and get what's yours. <music>